have a doubt uh, regarding the rituals. How relevant are they in this? Why people should uh, follow some rituals? Because rituals are made for some other around. But how are they relevant in this past era of infinite knowledge and infinite information? <laughs> Rituals serve the external form. Any religion has got its customs and traditions and the essence. So the essence of a religion is spirituality, the inner growth and the inner wisdom. And then the rituals or the customs form the outer structure. So the rituals help us in developing the sentiments and thereby uplifting our consciousness. For example, we have the ritual that when you get up in the morning, before you place your feet on Mother Earth, say a little mantra, Samudra Vasane Devi Parvatastana Mandale Pandite Vishnu Patni Namastubhyam Padasparsham Shamasvami. O Mother Earth, the oceans are your clothes and you are adorned with the wonderful mountains. You are the wife of Lord Vishnu. I am going to place my feet upon you. Please forgive me. So saying a little mantra like this, completely changes the consciousness of the child. They realize the existence of something sacred beyond the mundane that is around them. They expand their consciousness and realize that in their life they are indebted to so many things and so many blessings they receive which otherwise people often take for granted. The earth we live in, the air that we breathe, the sunshine that we receive. So these little, little rituals, they serve the purpose of expanding the consciousness. Of course, Anand, your question is very valid because if the essence, which is the inner sentiment, gets lost, then it becomes an empty form. So let me relate to you a little joke. One Panditji, he used to do his pujas when people would call him in their houses and he kept a cat. So in his home, when he would do the puja, the cat would create disturbance. Sometimes it would do meow meow and sometimes it would drop the water pot. So Panditji would put it outside the room, close the door and then do the puja. Now the cat would do meow meow from outside. Again, Panditji would be disturbed. So finally he hit upon an idea and he said, all right, I will tie the cat with a rope by the side of the room. It will be engrossed in watching what I do. So it will not disturb me. Now, every time he would do a puja, he would have the cat tied by the side. Panditji passed away one day. His son now became the Pandit. He was called by a Yajman to do the puja. So all the Samagri, the material was ready. And the Yajman said, Panditji, please begin. He said, but these items are not complete. There's one item still missing. They said, what is that? get a cat and tie it there by the corner. But why should we get a cat for the puja? Because when my father used to do it, he would have a cat tied out there. So likewise, when we forget the essence of that ritual, it becomes a mere physical drill.